on July 9th of 1994. Andrew Carter, 31 years old, and a friend Bruce Corby, 22 years old, along with a third friend John, had gone out to Nahoon Reef, which is over in South Africa. Uh, the trio was out doing some afternoon surfing, and the three of them have paddled their way out and gotten around 200 yards out from shore. But Bruce Corby was further out than the other two. So John and Andrew are 200 yards from shore at 1.30. Doesn't say the depth of the water. And they're laying on their surfboards paddling, probably heading out to get to where Bruce Corby is at. And like I said, he's further out to sea than those two gentlemen. Suddenly, Andrew's on his board and he says he feels this force and he's pinned to his board and he turns and looks over his shoulder and you can see the mouth. You can see the teeth of these. The teeth are in his leg, the top of his thigh and has him pinned to his board and he doesn't know what to do and John looks over and sees the shark there and it doesn't look good to him either. I don't know which side of the shark, if he was on the side of the, with the shark in the way of his view or on the other side with being able to see both the shark and, and Andrew. Andrew says that it wasn't long, uh, just a few seconds and the shark opened its mouth and it opened its mouth to bite his leg off is what this shark did. It opened its mouth and Andrew rolled off the board and the shark took a huge chunk off of this board. Uh, this is an 11, 11 to 13 foot great white and it's a monster chunk that it took out of that board and he, he must have timed that perfectly because you aren't going to have much, I can't believe he had time to get off the board, but he got off the board, thing bites down on that. Now he's been bitten in the thigh. Um, he gets onto his board right away after the bite and the two of them are freaking out. A wave comes and they take that in. Now they get in and they're looking at, at Andrew's leg and in comes Bruce. They see Bruce coming in and it sounds like Bruce is paddling his way in because John says to Bruce, did you see that attack? And Bruce says, John, I just lost my leg. So Bruce, like I said, he was further out than both Andrew and John. And he came in and he had to go ahead and surf his way through that water. Now, whether it was when he was surfing through there, maybe the shark went out there and got him. Either way, the shark came out and took his leg off just above the knee. And he got onto shore and this is a survive. They say this is a survivable attack and he gets to shore and immediately he stops breathing and they're working to bring him back and they do resuscitate him. He never regains consciousness but he's alive until shortly after he's taken into the hospital where he passes away. Um, a very odd situation where the shark attacks not one but two surfers, takes the leg of one, attempted to take the leg of the other one but ended up getting the board instead and then the gentleman passes away right away when, well, lose, stops breathing when he gets to shore. But that's a story on, on Bruce Corby and uh, Andrew Carter. Andrew Carter goes in, gets his leg fixed up. It just missed arteries uh, when it bit down into him. So he ends up getting sewn up and he survives the attack. Unfortunately, Bruce Corby does not. 11 to 13 foot great white, so two attacks. Uh, no attempts to predate, one fatality, uh, both by 11, 13 foot great white shark. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you'll be back in a few more days with another attack show. But until then, if you go into that water, you are much more afraid of those sharks than they are of you.